Francesco. Good morning everyone. This is Marco Matteo Cristofori from Big Grab. We are at the last day here at the farm next. As you can see, Francesco just popped our uh, big fixture in a matter of seconds using our new switch plate. For all the people who couldn't make it to farm next uh, these years, well, I'm gonna give you a little tour. Uh, we, are, we are at the whole 12.1 right at the entrance. Here is where we are, and you can see the Trident Grand Ancestor that is the print to finalize the successful dual extrusion print in PA666 and BDOH water soluble. Little introduction to the booth. As you can see, the booth this year is divided in two parts. Uh, we have the innovation side where we show uh, our big rep one, uh, and the industrial side where we go with the pro and the studio. As you might have heard, we launched a new product. This is the version 4 of the Big Rep 1, so a new Big Rep 1, and there we have a new Big Rep Pro, the Pro Point 2. Uh, various difference this year compared with the previous ones. First of all, customers speak. So we have a wall of applications. Uh, we wish we had it even bigger uh, to fit even more customer success stories. I will go through them with you. Uh, more customers here in the center, uh, a little bit of material and post process, and of course, our beautiful banyan wall standing in the innovation side of the booth. Um, first introduction to the new E-Grep 1. For the people who knows it already, they might see already some differences. Uh, completely different structure, frame, completely new, portal, completely different, much lighter, um, much more precise. Here right now printing one of the Canyon prototypes uh, in high temp CF, so fully fiber ready as well. Um, what are the differences with the previous um, with the previous one? I'm gonna show you a bit in the brochure uh, while I show you also our beautiful stickers this year. What you can fit in one cubic meter. Um, what are the main differences with the previous ones? Well, um, what we aim to is having it um, as much as configurable as possible, so you can configure your solutions, you can decide if you want to start with a single mode, dual mode, twin mode, single mode is just with one extrusion, um, dual mode with double dual extrusions, and the um, twin mode, it was the previously known as tandem. Uh, by doing this one, we uh, actually reduce the entrance price, so now you can buy a big web one for a lower price compared with the previous version. We have several add-ons, including the enclosure that you have already seen, on the printer, camera, the keep dry, which I'm gonna show you right now. And we want to highlight that you can customize the color of your Big Rep 1. Again, since we have a lot of designers and a lot of startups uh, going into this product, the innovation product, um, sometimes it's requested, you know, they want it actually to fit their brand. So we really wanted to give some space on this one too. Um, let's have a look at the keep drying cabinet add-on. As you can see, so it's different from the previous one and uh, we have on one side they keep trying on the other one in this specific case the red stops we have our metallic spool you know to have a continuous nice screen again let's have a look at the enclosure so if you open the things you pose the print and again right now people printing beautiful high temp cf um fully high temp cf we finished during the first three days of form next the same point in uh, PLX and in your aging dual extrusion was also successful. Very nice, uh, very nice print. Uh, what do we have on the one side for our applications? Again, we have Canyon, the print is already printing there, uh, the prototype, so prototyping and functional prototyping, you know, for a linear development of hardwares, uh, end use product in the furniture uh, field. We have several here. Um, this one is from uh, Arrange Engineering. Um, customer of us that does furniture and use furniture this beautiful piece it's actually printed all in ones without support on this surface so we support the customer to optimize even more the design so this is the edge that stays on the bed the length it's 1.3 meters so it used the wall diagonal of a big rep one and then it's printed vertically um, and then Rene from RH Engineering has beautiful technique for post-process. So inside here there is PLA, but there is this beautiful, um, well, this beautiful post-process 
of course for the people who are more keen to see how it works in the meantime i'm trying to plug it in Opla. you can see electricity well we try um so you can see well it used to run until yesterday with the water going so we could actually uh, have a look at the sink in function um while functioning um on this side instead we have cdm uh, studio uh based in perth australia it's a beautiful project they work with the western australian museum in perth this is just one of the pieces it's also one meter print uh, pro hd beautiful print this is how the parts looks first process they have several of these dinosaurs that they printed and post process i really recommend you to go to uh, youtube and actually watch all these videos the use cases because they are uh, wonderful what we have instead on the table um studio artifact we just released this video please go on youtube and watch it wonderful use cases uh, based in canada they have six big rep one running 24 7 uh, amazing projects they work on uh, it was a pleasure to talk with them um, we're showing a prototype from Kennedy Valve, also them with a big rep one. Uh, you might know them in US because of the red hydron that you see around uh, the States. Um, they bought the printer, not actually for prototyping, that was the second thing that came out. This is a PLX print. Uh, they can print now hydron prototypes, they can paint them, make it look like real, and then they can transport them around, you know, trade show without having any issue of the weight, etc. etc. And they can also do some specific cut section so they can show the details more. Uh, but the real reason why they bought the machine is sand casting, you know, another huge, huge application for us in industry for the innovation side. Uh, printing one cubic meter of patterns for sand casting, core boxes, loose parts is uh, something uh, that, you know, really, really is changing the industry. We have amazing customers like, again, uh, CJR, uh, Kennedy Valve, we have Metso, uh, we have a lot of them. 30th of November, we're going to go live with a webinar uh, with Metso, actually, that will show how they're using the Pro in Brazil and the Big Rep One to print um, how they actually improve the production of uh, core boxes, loose parts uh, for sand casting. Um, moving on, we have here a piece from JK Automotive, uh, again US. This is a dashboard and this part, they print it, uh, they have the 3D scan, they print it into the place and then they have this wonderful finiture, uh, finish, sorry, um, with leather or, you know, whatever is needed to then actually put it on the car so you can see the dashboard in place uh let's move to the industrial side what do we have well here now we're gonna have fun you already saw one of the main differences when we start the video with the popping up of this print the bread is already ready to start the new print um the new pro pro point two first difference portal completely new portal as you can see there is no front bar it's just a three axis portal uh, this is really the top of the gamma it's uh, amazing how uh, the quality of this print like this printer like the quality that can produce um, and we are actually proudly introducing a full new concept which i will show you on the brochure first i strongly recommend you to go on the website also and check the product page everything is updated so you will find out all the information jumpstart skip the hassle just print so jumpstart is basically a um, hybrid uh, solution between like software and hardware features uh, it's several uh, things together where we really focus to improve the usability of the machine so the main mission was to have this pro really really make it like really really easy to use um, and that's why that's why we developed this three feature. Uh, the switch plate is what we already saw. We're gonna talk a bit about more in detail. MXT control system, the brain behind Jobstart. So you don't need, you can fully bypass manual calibration and the new lock stage that keeps the extruder really in place. So much, much, much higher reliability and uh, you know, easy to set up. Um, as mentioned, uh, we now bypass the wall manual calibration including like Z, you know, mad, bed, mapping, or, uh, you know, the whole dual extrusion. So it becomes super easy to just start the print. Once you have the G code, no matter what, you just can print. Um, mission, firstly, arrive. That was really, really the main uh, aim out there. So we're proudly now at a point where we know that the first layer is always right. 
Um, as you can see, there is no cap tone. This is the new switch plate, as Francesco was showing. Can I open it? Oh, it's a bit up or... Okay, so you already saw it at the beginning of the video, how it bends. We have several of them. It's a magnetic, uh, magnetic, magnetic surface that you can just bend once the print cools down. Uh, you, can, you can pop it up uh, super easily. There is no need of glue. The black one you see, it's made for PA-based material. As mentioned, the one we were printing was video age, water soluble. So you see, very waxy material. This you're ready to break, and then you just water it. Uh, you can wash it out. And this is um, EA666. So we're talking about, again, another nylon. I just want to show you the detail because it's a beautiful piece. Just came out, printed live in Form Next. Uh, we have another surface for PLA-based material, uh, etc. So easy to swap. That's also, you know, there is no front bar. So in case you want to replace the switch plate with another one, you just slide it out and put the new one and just magnetically give a little touch. Um, Again, it's not a cap tone, so the full surface uh, it's, it's you know last uh, longer and longer and longer. Um, and again, while while it, if the printer heats up, it automatically then will generate like will get even more sticky, so the part will glue on the surface. Um, another news for the Pro, and this is a reason why we're gonna switch on the application side. Is a new filament that we release for the Pro the new Pro, uh, which is PA12CF. Uh, this material is insane. It's super stiff and super durable. We can print it, of course, large scale. This is one of the jigs we printed. We spent the last few days asking two of the people at Formrex, break it, try to break it, don't be scared and like smash it. Uh, well, nothing happened. It's a really, really tough material and the quality of the surface is insane. I'm gonna show you another piece, which you Does might have seen on my LinkedIn already. Um, I'm gonna try to put it on the light. Uh, I really hope you can see the quality of this print. It's a 06, uh, 06 nozzle, 03 layer high, printed on the Pro in two days. It's 3.5 kilos of material. Uh, the quality is insane. We have been uh, meeting trying to flip it multiple people at the trade show asking us what did we use to post process the surface well uh, nothing it just came out of the print like this so here it is if you're still in farm next you can come by and meet and have a look uh, we can of course print even bigger parts with this material so now it's pro compatible you know uh, what else we have on the Pro? On the Pro side, the application industrial side, so both Pro and Studio. Uh, we have several use cases, what we're showing here from Zola Kipa. This is a beautiful uh, print in ASA. They print both functional prototyping and end use part uh, for their trucks. So this is another 0 0.3 layer height uh, print with a 06 nozzle, amazing quality. Um, Air flight, they do human drones now mode to large crane, flying cranes. Uh, they use our printer to print uh, carbon fiber molds so they can, they can prototype and iterate much faster their carbon fiber parts and their prototypes. Uh, this is high temp CF, again, 06 nozzle, 03 layer height. I really hope you can uh, enjoy the surface because it's insanely beautiful. Uh, we have a lot of experience with carbon fiber laminates. Uh, you can, yes, print the molds and directly do some cold. Uh, if you need to, uh, this is the HTP of this filament is 115 degrees. So yeah, you can put in the autoclave uh, with a relatively low temperature, but still enough to cure it. Uh, you can increase the resistance to pressure by increasing the infill or by printing it hollow, like in this case. And then you can fill it up with epoxy aluminum to give extra strength. Another way to um, do laminates, we have a lot of customers in the customization of automotive parts. You can uh, print the positive and use it as a prototype so the customer can check uh, and if the customer then agrees you use the, pot of the positive to make a glass fiber mold and out of the glass fiber mold you can pull as many carbon fiber parts as you want. Here uh, WAT uh, using our printer on the shop floor the production uh, that's Andre, uh, amazing guy that actually is using our printer to solve a lot of issues in the, in the production floor to improve 
uh, you know, every single aspect. So they use our printer really as an agile manufacturing tool uh, to solve multiple things at the same time. So Andre just goes around the shop floor, identify problems, and then solves it with the 3D printer. So it became a one-man show, easy solutions in no time. This is a beautiful uh, smart fixture, like they call it. So it's used, as you can see, for quality control. Uh, it's filled up with probes all around, so whenever you feel um, the user fit inside the things to check in, if the frames, the holes are the right dimension, the probe can then count and then is a go or no go. Uh, beautiful piece, super hard to fit in a very customized frame. So you can imagine that making this one with CNC or other, it would be insanely hard and expensive. This one again is ITMCF. This one is without support, it's been washed out. You can see the quality of the print is pretty good. And here instead is with the video age as support water solid work before and after uh, what else i have to show you this we saw already popping up to have uh, some large handheld jigs as well one meter 30 length diagonally item cf again beautiful surface um well and many more things that we are still also inside just started this morning, so we're still setting up. Uh, here you have the list of filament. As mentioned, this beautiful PA12 CF now available. Different infill uh, pattern. No, sorry, this is percentage. We have also infill patterns, our material palette. Uh, lots of brochure, lots of stickers. A lot of interest from the people this year. Uh, was really a great experience. If you're still in Farmnet, you still have time to come and visit us. If you were not able to come, I hope this helped you to well get a bit of the same experience. Um, as mentioned again, go on our website. You can find all the information about our new products. Uh, do not hesitate to reach out to us. We are always very, very happy to answer questions. Uh, if you're new in 3D printing, if you are already a professional for us, it's just good to have a talk and brainstorm. So uh, I wish you all a great day. And if you didn't make it to Formnex this year, hopefully see you next year. Bye-bye.